In a recent paper that we published in the journal Cell, we were able to make a stem cell-specific transgenic fish to see the stem cells being born in the live zebrafish embryo. Here we have the heart and also the dorsal aorta, and we're going to dive into the aorta to witness the birth of a blood stem cell. This endothelial cell changes its fate and becomes a blood stem cell. It rounds up, and at that point it could be transplanted and rescue a lethally irradiated animal. This stem cell goes into the circulation and goes around and around the vasculature and ultimately will colonize the next site of blood development, which is in the tail. This stem cell has CXCR4 receptors on its surface and comes into a bed of SDF1, which is the ligand for CXCR4. This allows the attachment of the stem cell. The stem cell waits for an additional signal, which we think is a lipid that's present in the circulation. This binds to its cell surface receptor and causes a cell shape change. Additional events happen to force the stem cell into the extravascular space. This is where the stem cell will ultimately have its niche. The stem cell arrives and the endothelial cells react to the stem cell being there. When this happens, the endothelial cells or blood vessel cells actually wrap themselves around the stem cell in a process we call cuddling and this brings the stem cell next to the stromal cell. The stromal cell controls the plane of cell division. One stem cell will divide out and this stem cell will leave, whereas the stem cell that's attached to the stromal cell will stay. Many of these stem cell niches are actually formed as the stem cell enters into this space. At this point, at 72 hours, there is a sea of cuddled stem cells with stromal cells that are attached. Then at 96 hours, all of the stem cells actually leave. These stem cells will again go around in circulation and eventually will land in the next site of blood development. This is the kidney of the zebrafish, which is very similar to the mammalian bone marrow. Hematopoiesis will start at that point. Some of these cells will actually bypass the kidney and go right to the thymus. This will begin the immune system, and this allows this animal ultimately to have blood throughout its entire lifetime.